So I had a fun idea that I wanted to do just playing around with some new toys today. And I wanted to use these AKG 414s. Really what I want to do is put them on a bunch of different instruments and see what the range is that I can use them and how do they hold up, what do they sound like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little beat. I'm gonna program like a kick cross stick. We're gonna overdub some big giant toms using the 414s. Maybe we'll do some acoustic guitar, maybe some electric guitar and some percussion or something. I don't know, we'll see. So we'll do all that and we'll see if we can do it all in like five minutes and how it sounds. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to replicate a beat from a song. Let's see if you can guess the song, but the beat is gonna be a kick drum and a cross stick. I'm using samples from the Jake Reed Super Dead Drum Pack, but I'm just gonna be using the kick and the cross stick here. And then we're gonna overdub some fills with the AKG 414s on toms. But here's the beat as it is. That's it. And so we'll overdub some tom fills in that space in there, and then we're gonna come in full drums on the B section or the chorus. Okay, now for electric guitar, I'm going to play this Fender American Strat, and we're gonna go through a Rev G20 amp, which is very, very cool, by the way. Uh, this is a tube amp. We're gonna use it on the clean channel. We're gonna put the 414 on the Rev cab over there. Now, fun thing about this amp is you actually don't need a cab, it has a load box in it, but today we're gonna use the cab and see what the 414 sounds like. So let's put the mic on there and record some electric guitar clean. And today I will be playing the role of a Tom Tom player. Okay, I was just gonna do bass DI, but let's put the bass through the rev amp and also use the 414 on the bass. And see, I mean, like, I don't have a bass amp, but we can just use the rev amp. Here we go. You know, the idea of this video conceptually, I think was great, it was on point, but um, there are just some things that go beyond the microphone, right? It's the performance, obviously. Vocals are in absolute, absolutely enormous part of this particular song. I have not been blessed with the skills of singing and also playing keys. There's a killer, I think it's a, Rhodes part on the B section or the chorus 
It is so awesome and it kind of makes the whole part so it's a little weird without it. But honestly, I'm really impressed with the 414s. I'm not surprised. I think it'd be interesting to do some comparisons sometime with like the or the older BULS 414s versus these new ones. I know some people have like particular 414s that they prefer. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know and uh, I'll check out your comments and reply. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you guys like these videos. If you want to see more of these like actually recording and doing stuff, uh, let me know. Thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to see these mics, there's a link to them in the description as well as pretty much all of the stuff that I use here in the studio. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.